know this is just formula. So if let's say you calculate your zeta wrongly, okay, I'll say again, let's say you calculate zeta wrongly, you won't get zero on the way, you get what I mean? We just use the zeta. So for example, one mark is for calculating zeta. The next one is to calculate percentage of overshoot, percentage ratio, to percent satellite size. If your zeta is wrong, you don't get that one mark. Then we will use your zeta negative to check whether your settling time, substance ratio, and your overshoot is correct. Are we clear? Okay, don't, don't say that, oh, my zeta is wrong. Now, by the way, when you finish your thumb test, are you going to compare answers? No point. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah, overshoot always positive. Below, no shoot. Under shoot, we don't care. Okay, then we don't care about the, the bottom one. We care about the top one. Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Percentage steady state. Oh, that is the marks awarded. So if you label Omega T or the XXT, I do not have a mark. If you label the uh, X on the vertical axis, I do not have a mark. Yeah, because you are more excited about how it's greater than you want to know about vibration. Okay? Yeah. Should it like the first over should be outside of the range of your steady state or something? It is. It is. Mm -hmm. So the second over should as well. It is. Okay, so this is how you get your subsidence ratio. And then finally, we are going to calculate your 2% uh, steady state. Okay. Now, depending on your student number, it can be 2%, 3%, 4%, or 5%. Are we clear? So let's do something different. You want to do something different? Okay, let's do something. So let's look at 5% steady state. Okay. So in the steady state, okay, 0 0.05 XSS is equal to XSS E minus zeta omega N T S. We don't care about the sign. We don't care about the cosine because we want to know the what? Many things. We clear. I know that you know down here we have a what? If we look at the formula in full, there is a what? Sine or there is a C1 uh, or XXS cos omega t plus by C2 sine omega t. I don't care about this because I want to focus on what? I want to go focus on amplitude. I'm not bothered about the amplitude. I don't care. Are we clear? Okay, that's why I dropped the whole term over there on the right hand side. I want to find the amplitude. So for this case, the math is really, really easy. You can cancel this natural log on one side, 0 0.05. And then on the other side, you have what? Minus zeta 
omega n ts. Now, don't worry about the minus sign because when you natural log a number less than one, is equal to what? Minus 2.996 is equal to minus zeta omega and ts. Okay, so ts is equal to minus 2.996 divide by minus zeta omega n. Okay, if it's negative, start to add it. A will never be what? Negative. Listen, this, this thing I'm teaching you, you're going to use for vibration and you're going to use for your control here. Okay, so don't, don't forget this, okay? Are we clear? So, does that answer your question? How to answer a question like this? Does that answer your question? But listen, if you can remember the formula, Go for it. Okay, you don't need to derive. You just write. You just write. Uh, you just write percentage overshoot. If you can remember, you can uh, remember. So this cancel this. You can remember this formula. Go for it. I can't. Okay. I my advice is not to for you to memorize. If you can derive out, derive out. How many hours you have for the term test? Two hours thirty minutes. In twenty seventeen, when I set this exam, two hours thirty minutes. Five questions. Now I give you three questions you have to derive if you cannot memorize. Are we clear? Okay, I don't want you to memorize. Remember, memorizing is, is absolutely pointless. Okay, right. Any questions so far? No? Okay. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah, just put the value. Hey, don't derive and don't put in value. I don't give you mark, you know. You have to put in values, yes. Don't frighten me, okay? Yeah, I'm 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 not panicking yet. I'm beginning to. Okay, you have to put in the numbers, okay? Don't give me like that, Eugene. I know already. You have to put in the numbers, okay? Right. So I believe... I mean... Straightforward or no? I've done the worst with you guys, right? Which is the worst? Which question was the worst? Remember this question that I gave you guys? Right. If you ask me which is the worst question that you have seen. This is the worst. OK, this I mean. Yeah, it was not that bad. OK, but if you look at the homework or if you look at the question given in the textbook, this is the worst. OK. In my class, I don't do Mickey Mouse stuff. I do things that scare the shit out of you. Okay, but the worst is not that bad, right? Remember, you just have to step back and what? Break things down. Okay, keep on doing easy stuff. The Koreans will still keep on making like some song and then we are never in fun. Okay, yeah, you are first. Was it bad? Yeah, this was bad. It's okay. Do it worse. Okay, like now. You see mechanical vibration. Now you see this like chicken, right? Yes or no? Right? Okay. Now, uh, the last, I think you have no problem with this. Comfortable with this? Okay. Uh, today I met with a student. The student asked me a very, very good question. Okay. What is the question the student asks? So let, let me, and I, I, I think this student, I think it's a thinking student, not memorizing, one, wanting to know why it works. And I believe you all will see this in 2P also. Remember the example that I show you guys, yes or no? 
Remember the example I show you guys that we have to find, for example, let's 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 look at yesterday's example. Yesterday's example, we have to do this step. Right? Someone told me the name of it, unique vector, right? Yeah, wow. Not a clue, by the way, okay? It's called unique vector. I'll tell you now, okay? You are the one that tell me it's unique vector, right? No? One of you, okay? I have I have freaking not a clue. I'll tell you that. Okay, my math is that bad, okay? So for this case, you need to find the unique vector, then you need to find what's omega and alpha in terms of i, j, and k. For this case, we did not know, need to know, we did not know, uh, we don't need to find the unique vector. Why? This is because alpha is in what direction? And omega is also in what direction? Are we clear? It's a line. Okay, this question is so straightforward. It is what? It is a line. The previous question that we did, this axis is where they measure what? Omega and what? Alpha. We have to break it down. So it's, it's a line. X axis? Is no. OA aligned to Y axis? No. Is OA aligned to the Z axis? All three? No. So that's why you need to apply the unique vector to find what is your i, j, and k in terms of angular velocity and angular acceleration. Are we clear? Okay. Now, for, for this question, some of you will say, um, I want to use matrix to solve it. Go for it. Okay. You can use what you're most comfortable. You don't need to use the technique that, that I've shown now. Yeah. Absolutely no need. But if you're comfortable with using the matrix, and you can check whether your matrix is right or wrong. Go for it. I mean, clear. I find this method more, I wouldn't say easier, but I can cross check better. That's why I use it. And when I do programming, I use this method also. Okay. I mean, I can program using matrices, but take me quite a bit. So I can. Any question before I let you all go home? Yeah. What what other question? Where? No, use plus. Okay, don't use minus. Yes. Yeah, they just flip things around. I don't flip things around. Yes. Say it again. Question four. Yes. Oh, the points of integration. Okay. So now, if you guys had enough of me, you can go. I'm going to do question four. Okay. So you want to know about the limits, right? Okay. So I'm going to do question four. So if you look at question four, right? I, you got alpha at point A is equal to 0 0.25 theta cube plus by 0 0.5 radians per second square. Okay. If the gear initial, initial turning at omega A naught, so given omega A when time is equal to zero, this is equal to 20 radians per second. Determine the angular velocity of gear B. So we have to find what is omega B 
right? After A, so we, we given that theta A is equal to 10 times by 2 pi. 